everyone, Max here with A1 Website Pro. And uh, today we're going to be talking about integrating Bootstrap with your WordPress themes. And I'm going to walk you through this entire lesson on how to create a theme based on the Bootstrap framework. So the first thing you're going to have to do is go to WordPress, wordpress.org. And go ahead and download the WordPress CMS. It's whenever you load it up here. I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch. So you want to go ahead and download this and save it to your computer. So click on that button and, and you're going to be downloading this zip file to your computer. All right. And we're going to, I have this bootstrap. It's ready to rock and roll. So we'll go ahead and download that. And the next thing that you're going to be downloading is Blank Slate. Okay, B-L-A-N-K-S-L-A-T-E. And then you can put Theme, just like that. And if you go right here to Blank Slate, free WordPress themes, this is going to give you the bare bones of a WordPress content management system. And it's basically going to look like this when we first start it. So you want to click on Download and download that by tidy themes there and this is going to give us what we want all right so go ahead and download those two to your computer and uh, if you haven't already you want to make sure that you have a local WAMP server or XAMP for Mac I'm on a Mac we're gonna be using XAMP but if you need instructions for a Mac or for a Windows machine then go to a website pro and search this installing and configuring WAMP for the first time I have a video tutorial right down here at the bottom to make it a little bit easier for you so you could follow through with that so once you get these downloaded and everything we will get started and you can pause the video because I'm gonna go ahead and get started here I'm gonna bring up my folders here now I'm already in my XAM folder if you go to Applications, scroll down to XAMP, and then HTDocs, we're going to make a new folder here, and we're just going to simply call it Bootstrap, okay? B-O-T-S-D-R-A-P. All right. <clears throat> Let me go back to list here because it's easier to find. We're going to open up Bootstrap. And then over here that I, where I downloaded the WordPress uh, framework, I'm just going to go ahead and take it and drag it over here. I'm going to right click and extract. I'm just going to double click it, do it the easy way. All right. Now that gives us uh, WordPress 4 down here. So I'm just going to take this and drag and drop it into my bootstrap folder. Okay then we can actually just go ahead and delete that. Move to trash. And I really want to just take everything out of here and put it in my bootstrap folder. So I'm going to do this but with the use of two windows. And I'm going to open up bootstrap because I don't want it to be WordPress 4 there. I want it all to be my CMS file. So I'm going to click on that, hold my shift key down, click on the bottom, and I'm going to drag and drop these over here. And then now I'm going to delete this WordPress 4. Move to trash. All right. Uh, the next thing that I got to do is fire up my XAMP server. So I'm just going to go to my launch pad here and type in XAMP. Oh, not going to be able to do it that way. So I'm just going to go to my finder here. Go back one folder. Two folders. Click XAMP and this manager hyphen OSX. I'm going to fire it up. I have to put in my password. Click OK. OK, and it's firing up there. Go to manage servers and I'm going to start off. Because the next thing that I need to do is go to my PHP my admin and set up a database for this particular site. Okay, now we have everything running, so I'm going to move that off to the side. I'm going to go to my local server, which I, you might have local host. I put mine on 127, and 
point zero point zero point one and then I go p h p my admin and here I'm going to create another database we'll call it bootstrap click create all right now I'm all ready for the WordPress so I will just go ahead and go back to one two seven and then I want bootstrap all right and do English so we got the database set up and we'll put the information right in here the database is bootstrap username is going to be root and there is no password because I'm working on local host and we'll call it be a prefix of B WPBT and hit submit we'll run the install and we'll just call it this title bootstrap with WordPress Username, we'll just say Maximus, password, uh, password. Okay, I gotta confirm the use of that. Put in my email, and then go ahead and install WordPress. All right, so let me log in here. Type in my name, password, and there we go. So we'll save this. All right, so now if we go to Appearance and Themes, you can see that I have all these default themes. And if I hold my Command button down and click Visit Site, you'll see what it looks like on the front end. It has just the typical, you know, WordPress theme installation. But now I want to go back to my folders. So bring up both my folders. because Now it's time for this blank slate. So let me open up Bootstrap. I'm going to navigate to the WP content file, then the themes file. And I guess I can just go ahead and extract blank slate right here. Okay. Open that up. And I want all the, uh, fi <coughs> the files within this folder, um, this blank slate folder. So I'm actually just going to grab this entire folder, drag it over into my themes folder. Okay, now I have blank slate. We'll go ahead and rename this to um, Bootstrap. Okay, and we're all done with this. I'm just going to give you guys this theme and everything like that. If you walk through with me on these tutorials, if I get enough likes and enough views, I'll keep these going. But uh, we want to go ahead and open, make sure, sure all those files are there. And what we want to do is go back to our dashboard here. And under themes, click themes one more time, see if we get blank slate to load up for us. And there's our blank slate. So what we want to do is we want to activate that blank slate theme and it's activated. So let's go ahead and make sure it's activated. We'll hold our command button down or control button down, hit visit site. And here we see just a bunch of nothingness. Okay, there's no styles, no anything like that. So that'll be our first, that's our first steps into setting this up. Uh, the next thing that we're going to have to do is go get the Bootstrap Library. So we can find the Bootstrap Library at Day One Website Pro under this Beginner's Guide to Using Bootstrap Web Development. And if we scroll down here, there's some things that we're going to need in the header. Basically, it's these, um, this meta information and these scripts, okay? This is the bootstrap library that we're going to be bringing in, into our theme. So I'm going to right click and copy this information. I'll be coming down to my uh, bootstrap theme. I'm going to open it up and go to the header.php. All right. Now I'm going to be using my BB edit editor for this, info, for this uh, tutorial. And one of the things that you got to remember, CSS comes first and then JavaScript comes last. So I'm going to go up here and ahead right after this. I'm going to paste in my library for Bootstrap. Then I'm going to hit Command S to save it. And when we go back to the site, we're not going to see much difference. I'll show you. 
we just brought in the library to be able to you know start operating off those tags so we we still see that you know it brought in some some stuff but it's not styled yet so in the next tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to start styling this you know this uh, theme right now we have the uh, bootstrap li library brought in and now we're going to start styling each one of the pages the way that we need them styled to operate with bootstrap okay see you in the next tutorial Thank <laughs> you.